you need the following tools. A 5mm hex wrench, a 10mm open end or box end wrench, a 15mm open end or box end wrench, a 5mm torque wrench hex wrench, a torque wrench with a 15mm socket, and a 3mm Ali key or a pin with a diameter of 3mm or smaller. Hi, my name is Uwe. I'm a technician in dealer service and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and remove a G8 freewheel. Place the gear shift in first gear. Insert a 3mm hex wrench or pin with a diameter less than 3mm in the hole provided in the pulley. Turn the pulley in a counter-clockwise direction until the shift cable is free from tension. Pull the cable sleeve out of the counter holder so that the cable clamp comes out of the pulley. Release the pulley slowly. It is tensioned by a spring. Remove the screw and nut on the brake lever clamp using a 5mm hex wrench and a 10mm open end wrench. Okay. Loosen and remove the axle nuts on both sides using a 15mm open end or box end wrench. Remove the non-turning washers. When doing so, note the left or right fitting side of the non-turning washers. Remove the freewheel from the frame. Lift the chain from the sprocket. Insert the freewheel into the frame. Place the chain over the sprocket. Important, the counter holder must be parallel to the chain stay. Align the left and right non-turning washers. Thread the axle nuts onto the axle and then tighten them using a torque wrench with a 15 mm socket. Tighten to 30 to 40 Newton meter. When doing so, ensure the chain tension is correct. Connect the frame clamp to the hub brake lever using a 5 mm torque wrench hex wrench. Tighten to 2 to 3 Newton meter. The frame clamp must be installed tightly on the frame without any play. Turn the gear shift into first gear. Insert a 3 mm hex wrench or pin with a diameter less than 3 mm in the hole provided in the pulley. Turn it counterclockwise until the shift cable with the clamp can easily be inserted in the pulley. Insert the cable sleeve end in the counter holder. When doing so, release the pulley tension slowly. Check the hub setting. Turn the gear shift into 8th gear. Switch back into 4th gear. Important, the yellow markings on the cable pulley and the counter holder must be aligned. If the marks do not align, turn the adjustment screw at the twist shifter. To check, proceed as shown previously. Repeat the process until the markings align. Check the hub setting. Turn the gear shift into ninth gear. 
switch back into fifth gear. Important, the yellow markings on the cable pulley and the counter holder must be aligned. If the marks do not align, turn the adjustment screw at the twist shifter. To check, proceed as shown previously. Repeat the process until the markings align.